I mean, every other year, I guess you've been here, it's been mostly returning starters. So a lot of new faces around you just kind of, how are those guys picking things up and especially, especially your tackle? Yeah, it is. Uh, we're the old guys now. We're the two guys in the middle who've been here and done before. And it's kind of, we've taken it as our job to show the new guys, like, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to prepare. Uh, the SEC is a different animal and whatever you expect college football to be, the SEC is like a whole nother level. So, um, and they're doing a great job doing that. We've got a lot of really good young guys with a bunch of talent, not just on the O-line, but everywhere. I know you are talking about the D-line a lot. Um, and it's been really fun to see through fall camp, like guys um, realizing that, working hard, and like really, really showing a bunch of improvement. Wadded 700 pounds. How much did you go up to, though? Um, there's no telling. I don't know. I don't. Uh, it might have looked easy, but it definitely didn't feel easy to me. So uh, maybe not to make you want to go. I see everyone just get under there. All the guys are around you, you know, screaming and like the adrenaline's pumping. So, you know, yeah, what stands out um, when you think about Bo as a center uh, lining up next to you this season? What's he doing well so far? Well, he's doing a bunch of things really well. Um, Bo's super smart and really calm under pressure. So he does a really good job of giving us a point. The center's kind of like the quarterback of the offensive line. So he always sets us in the right direction. He's done a great job of that. Also, Bo's really strong and powerful, like you said. And um, like when we're in combos or when we work together, you can definitely feel his presence. What's been maybe the most difficult part about the the transition? Maybe something even early on in it that you've kind of worked past now. Yeah, most of the part is definitely having to snap the ball before you can fire off. Um, you can't really put any weight on your uh, on your toes or on your on your hand. You, know, you got to worry about snapping the ball and then being able to fire off. So uh, not having as much power coming off the ball to snap. That's a lot different. So playing with leverage comes uh, into play a lot more. Um, especially when you're playing up against a nose like Bank or somebody who weighs more than you and he's an inch pull off the ball and you know, not being able to fall off that play or whatever. That's a lot. So, uh, yeah, playing the leverage is pretty cool. You guys are both older guys, but Josh Braun, you know, he's played in the SEC. What have you seen from him from, you know, a, a standpoint of, you know, playing on the field but also being a leader as well? So, uh, Josh Braun's been an awesome addition. He's great on the field, but he's also a great guy off the field. And I think the biggest thing, the biggest veteran thing you can see with Josh Braun is just the way he takes care of his body, the way he prepares pre-practice, pre-football. Um, he's always in the film room. He's always taking care of his body. And like through that, you can tell that even though he is a little bit younger, he is a, he is a true veteran and uh, knows, knows how to take care of himself so that he's ready to play. Oh, Amari Wiggins, what have you seen from him? I guess, you know, he would be the backup center, you know. Yeah, he's been good. Um, like Coach Campbell said, he didn't come in the spring ball. He just got here, and he's picked up the offense really well. Uh, he's been from day one. Coach asked him questions. He knows what to do. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of been – usually he just can't come in and just learn about things like this, especially with how um, – you know, complex or offensive now. So for him to come in and just pick it up like that is really impressive. I can't tell y'all how many times I've been asked, what about the tackles? So what what have you seen from Manuel, Kudas, Chamley in the backup? Yeah. So I've been playing next to Devin Manuel a lot and he ha he has a lot of athletic ability. He is really, really athletic. Um it's been really fun playing next to him. I can always count on him to be there and make the block. He is uh he has a lot, like Coach was saying, he has a lot of potential. And I think, like, just moving forward, he'll just be better and better and better. I've had a lot of – I've really enjoyed playing next team. Kudis is doing a great job, too. Um, you know, Kudis has kind of played everywhere since he's been here. He's played center, he's played guard, he's played nice playing tackle. Um, so, him having to learn, you know, pass him back is a whole lot different than pass him in the inside. So, um, him trying to get a grasp on, you know, how to set guys, um, depending on where they're lined up. Uh, that's been a little bit of a change for him, but he's picking it up well. And like I said earlier, he's really strong, dude. So, in the run game, uh, run blocking is run blocking. So, uh, he's missing dudes up in the run game. And uh, he's really strong. So, it's going to be good. Right from the scrimmage and what's happened since then. Yeah, it's like Coach said, too. Uh, we got to we gotta pride ourselves on training and finishing people. Um, 
we got to be careful in that regard because we don't hurt our own guys, you know, and um, lose all the depth that we have. But at the same time, that doesn't um, that shouldn't be stopping us from you know driving hard, it's just uh, keeping guys off the ground. So uh, we need to fight ourselves and uh, not losing block and uh, also keeping the lead. Yeah, I think Bo uh, summed it up pretty good. We gotta um, we gotta start fast and play hard. I think the snaps that were in the bowl game, maybe a hundred or so goals over time. In retrospect, how much did that help you, you know, to start in a bowl game and then get all those all those snaps at, at your position? Yeah, it was huge to get at least one game under my belt before I came in the spring and fall um, this year playing center. Um, it's been a big deal with confidence, um, knowing that I can play at that um, at least at that level. Um, and then ca hopefully carry it over to the SEC play. Um, but yeah, just huge confidence boost, um, knowing where to go, um, the spots and um, protections. Um, so yeah, confidence is a boost. I um, like carry it from there. A couple of young guys, um, Luke Brown, I know he's played some practice and guard. I guess, Brady, what, 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 what have you seen from Luke and in the room? What, what do you think about him? Yeah, we've got some pretty awesome freshmen. Uh, Luke's a great guy. And he works really, really hard. He's come back. You know, he got injured in the spring. He's come back, worked really hard to get back. And he's been playing both tackle and guard. And he he gives it all. He's really strong and has a good punch. Um, and then you got Paris, who's at left guard. And he's playing great. Um, Paris is really physical. Um, and when he comes on someone, like, uh, he, he blows them up. So he's doing really good. And then you got Aaron Smith, who has really good hands and good feet and that all those guys are really playing really well. Going up pretty well. We got a lot of young guys playing at a high level. You mentioned Eric Smith. He's um, came in, to be honest, not a lot of high expectations for him, but he's uh, definitely kind of blown the whole uh, thing away. So. Both you guys, Brady, maybe you can take it first. You all played so much together, you know, started. I mean, just how good a combo do you think you are for, for Cody to kind of build, build a unit, you know, from the inside out? Yeah, it's really cool. It's been awesome to have this experience to play so many games with my best friend. Um, It's been – and it's cool that we're able to build on that. I mean, O-line's a special unit, and you build relations relationships with like that with everyone you play with. Um, Me and Devin are becoming great friends. Um, Kudis is coming in, has a great personality. Um, Josh Braun, we're all becoming friends to eat together. Um, and that relationship that you build, like you, you really build it during fall camp, and then it carries over to the season. It's really special, and I'm glad that I'm able to share it with you guys. I remember a couple of years ago, Coach Pittman would say that you'd be the guy who maybe started the most guys in practice. Um, are there some maybe some younger guys on the on the team that got like that nastiness or a little bit of edge to them? I'd say uh, Patrick Kudis really has some nastiness to him. He uh. He plays really, really hard, and he finishes plays. Um, it's it's really fun to watch Kudis, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for him. Aaron Smith got to come in, like you said, walk on, but maybe didn't get the publicity and stuff. But you feel like he's someone like Street that could eventually play himself into not just a scholarship, but possibly play him some meaningful snaps and stuff. Yes, sir. I definitely think Aaron Smith could do that. He is. Uh, He's coming. He works hard every single day. He has really good technique. Um, the cool thing to watch with Aaron is, like, especially, like, as a young guy, a lot of times you struggle with your hands. His hands are really, really good. He punches hard. Um, and he's really, uh, like, stepped up and, and gives his defense an end hard time.